Hello, I'm Jomica and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is episode 10 and today I think we're going to set up a few satellites in orbit of Kerbin. Uh, a little bit stronger than the ones we have, that way they can reach the moon and we can always have a connection that direction. Um, so yeah, why don't we go ahead and get started on that. Uh, one good thing is I finally figured out my microphone issue and it should be okay now. There shouldn't be any more cracks or pops or like blank spots uh, when I talk. It should actually just pick it up and work just fine. So that's been a couple months issue for me which is finally fixed and I'm pretty happy about that. So if that's been annoying to you lately it shouldn't be an issue any longer. Uh, we have 700 science to spend. And some solar panels here would be good. The relay antenna is kind of what we want, I think. Um, yeah, why don't we just go straight into the higher tier antenna. We'll get that first. Because that's kind of what we want to do. Um, I don't think there's anything else we absolutely need at this point. This is RCS tanks, right? Yeah. Um, is that a rocket fuel tank? I think so. Let's see. I guess this is all fine here. We don't need the bigger rockets yet. Why don't we go ahead and unlock this as well? And we still have 275, so we're not going to be able to do any of these. Um, but do we want to save it for one of these? I mean, more science would be nice, so maybe we wait for that. Yeah, I think we'll do that. We'll just go ahead and wait. A little longer. Landing legs will need soon. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. So let's go into the vehicle assembly building. I think we'll just do another time lapse of me building the satellite and the launch stage and all that stuff. Uh, if you like this format, let me know in the comments. I appreciate the comments I've been getting about the series. Everyone seems to really enjoy watching and I haven't heard any negative feedback about what I've been doing. Uh, so yeah, let me know. And also I got a comment about the money in Kerbal Space Program. And those are called Spaceos, which I mean, that's not really actually what they're called, but I, I love it. And yeah, I decided I would let you guys know that somebody commented that and I find it hilarious. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this and I'll be back once this is all done and ready to launch into uh, Kerbin Orbit. All right, our little satellite is ready to go. Uh, we should have enough Delta V to easily get into orbit and do a pretty big orbit. Um, we can probably even do this 
on the moon and Minmus and maybe even Duna. Who knows? Um, there's plenty of Delta V here, though. And so here is our antenna. I'll just kind of show you guys what I got here. Uh, we got MechJeb there. We got three solar panels. We got a few science things, seismics, science, temperature, uh, barometer, two batteries, two fuel tanks here, and then these three on the outside. And then we have the little, what is it? The spark engine, I think, underneath here. Fairing, decoupler, and yeah, we got the terrier engine, I think. Yeah, terrier here. Swivel and the reliance. And then these all asparagus stage into the center stage here. So when these run out, this will be full of fuel. And why don't we go ahead and launch this aircraft and we will do a polar orbit and we'll just go ahead and I think just head north and try to get a pretty high orbit there. Um, we can probably just get rid of that. We'll do it manually and we can circularize with this. I'm not going to worry too much about that because we've done that plenty of times so we'll just go ahead and go straight up and then yeah get into orbit so I will just sit back and probably hopefully time-lapse this one I think I said that in the past but forgot so we'll go ahead and time-lapse this one and just get into orbit Okay, we are in orbit, about 300 kilometers, and we definitely want to raise that a lot higher. Um, so we can probably just go ahead and burn prograde. And we have plenty of fuel left. We have almost 4,000 to 5,000 delta V, actually right here. 4,860 remaining, and that is plenty. So it's not quite polar, but I'm not too worried about that. So we'll go ahead and give this a burn. And I think we'll just go ahead and bring it up to like, I don't know, three to five million or so. Something pretty high. Uh, we got plenty of Delta V for it. So yeah, we don't have to worry about that. That'll just make sure we have a longer connection when we do have a connection. Um, let's see, why don't we do somewhere around 3 million? We could do more, but 3 million feels like a good number to me. So we'll go ahead and bring that down and just do a small burn till right about there. We can create and execute this node also to get that into that perfect circular orbit. And that'll take 361 meters per second, and that will leave us with 1,100 or so in this stage, plus the extra 3,000 we have in the smallest stage. So yeah, this really strong connection to the moon, and I don't think we've really lost connection anywhere yet. So that's actually nice. If this doesn't have a connection to the Kerbal Space Center directly, uh, if this guy does have a connection, it looks like it'll still reach him if I am was watching this correctly. Don't really understand the whole dynamic of that, but it makes sense to me. If this guy can reach Kerbin, then this guy and this guy can reach that, he can just kind of relay the information on. So that is circular orbit, just right about 3 million 
meters above Kerbin. So this guy is good and in orbit. Very large orbit. Um, let's go ahead and try to run some of these experiments. I don't think it'll work. No. I put it on anyways just just because it's a new one and it's light and we don't have to worry about it. So we'll go ahead and log that. Yeah, we've done all these. Totally fine. Um, this will automatically point at the sun so we don't have to worry about rotating it and getting that all set up. And yeah, this guy is good. So I kind of feel like I want to do the same thing with this, but put it somewhere else. So let's go back to the Space Center and let's go to the tracking station and take a look. We'll take a look at this guy first and just make sure that he'll always have a connection. I mean, he won't always have a connection directly, but I'm hoping that when he loses connection, this guy will pick it up and relay it on. I just want to make sure that I'm correct in my thinking of how things work. So yeah, that's perfect. This guy will relay to this guy, which will relay to the Space Center, and he can pass that information on to this guy, which, yeah, this guy is unable to do. So that's perfect. We'll have a much better chance at keeping things in contact. So, I guess next what we can do is zoom way out here. And this guy is on his way still to Duna. And I think this is where we left, so we're not going to worry about sending another one to Duna right now because we'd never make it. It is a terrible time to get to Duna. So maybe we'll just do one to the moon. I think we can handle that. We'll go ahead and go to the vehicle assembly building and go ahead and launch this guy again. It's 33,000. That's totally fine. It's We don't have a ton of money to be doing this all the time, but we definitely want to do that. Um, this one, we're going to want to cancel at some point. Explore, Kerbin, rescue from orbit, test, plant flag on Minmus, position satellite in specific orbit of Minmus. So let's take a look at that and maybe we will try to do that one because we do want some sort of satellite around Minmus and might as well get some money while we're at it. Sorry, spesos, not money. Um, here is Menmus, so let's focus on you. And you want sort of a awkward thing, but that's about 500k. Yeah, let's do that. That shouldn't be terrible. We should be able to do it. Let's pick up that mission. And how much do we get? 145,000? Yeah. This will pay for itself. We get an advance of 55 or 51, and we're only spending 33. We also get 11 science for completing, which is nice. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Um, I guess, yeah, we are ready. There's nothing we really need to do. This guy's already good to go. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do another time lapse just into orbit. Uh, there's no reason to watch that over and over again. And I'll join you guys back once we get into orbit.
All right, we are in orbit. Something got a little strange here, but we are in orbit. We have plenty of delta V left, and we can try to head to Midmus. Um, let's go ahead and do a one of these things. Transfer to another planet. I don't know if that will do it. Use a home and transfer. So let's do that. We'll create the node. And that should bring us directly into Minmus. We need about a thousand delta V. We got 400 left in this stage. It'll split it up into two. So we can go ahead and execute this node. And then it'll point us in the correct direction and automatically do all of our throttling. And it'll also time warp us to the correct spot. So this is definitely a nice thing to have. Um, I like to do kind of, I mean, I kind of have to do the first encounters with these. Um, but yeah, I usually like to do it first on my own just to make sure I do it right. And then after that, I can go ahead and just let the computer do it. So I don't have to worry about it. So yeah, this guy keeps constant contact, which is nice because in the beginning we would not have been able to do this maneuver here because the Space Center is on the opposite side of the planet and we don't have a connection to that. So we'll let that do its thing. We will cut out of the map so we can get ready to stage and there we go so this will finish off the 500 meters per second we need to do and we'll just check the map just to make sure we don't get too far off because i feel like if you don't do things perfectly like that staging is a little bit slower um it'll get off and you may end up somewhere you don't want to be kind of like with that last circularization around Kerbin it just kept burning and it thought it needed another 200 meters per second to go but that would have put us into a huge orbit that we didn't want so we'll just kind of babysit it and get ready to cut the engine if we need to but it looks like it's going to be okay so we'll just wait yeah we'll just let it finish we do have an encounter, it looks like. Yes, we do have an encounter. So let's go take a look at Minmus. We'll focus our view here. And we want to come in on this side, right about here. So let's maybe um, kill that. We'll point pro grade and see where this sends us. If this sends us that way, that's what we want. So just one tick, hopefully it's not too fast. Perfect. So that's what we want. We want to come in on this side here. So right about there, and then from here we can kind of just burn this direction. I think maybe we want to try to come up on this side. So let's do this. Um, stability is oh, okay. Something was getting a little bit weird there, but it's okay. So let's try from here. We'll see what happens. I mean, I'm not going to be too worried about getting it perfect, but the closer we get, the better. We have plenty of delta V, so we don't have to worry about it too much. And that's not doing anything, so we'll try the little plus here. I don't. It's not radial, and it's not prograde or retrograde. Um, I don't remember what it's called. So we want to go on the other side and try that. So bring this periapsis up to the apoapsis. You know what? I think we'll just quick save here. I'm not going to worry about it 
too much because we have the delta v for it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And let's go ahead and just speed this up because I don't want to spend the time fine tuning it. And then I don't know if the planet's going to like rotate or something weird. So yeah, we'll just not worry about it. Yeah, it is still staying in the same spot. So that's nice. We'll at least still be coming in, pointing the correct direction. So the burn will be a little bit easier. So there we go. Um, okay, this is bringing us there. So let's slow this down. We'll create a maneuver node here. We'll slow this way down. So that'll be about right. And then we also want to do this. Um, right about here. So that's pretty close. We can fine tune this a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that maybe. Um, I think we'll want our next one to be here. We can finish that up. So let's go ahead and execute this node. I think that'll be fine. And this still has 100% strength with Kerbin, which is excellent. So we will execute the next node here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I probably should have quick saved. There we go, quick save there. We've got it thrown in. If something gets screwed up, we may have to cancel the node execution, but that's okay. And yeah, this is staying at 100%. I don't know if we're bouncing off of any satellites or anything like that. It looks like we may have a direct connection to Kerbin from here because that satellite will not reach all the way out here, I don't think. And we had an encounter with the moon for a second and again. But we don't want that. We want to stay another moon encounter. We want to stay in contact with Minmus and get an orbit of Minmus. So there we go. Perfect node execution. And we'll go ahead and set up our next one. We want to put it right about here. Add a maneuver node. And then we're going to want to shrink that. And bring this out. Right about there. And that'll be fairly close to where we want. And then on this side, we can just shrink this side of the orbit, if that makes sense. And this is only a five meter per second burn, so that won't be anything. So we will quick save, execute this node as well. So yeah, what I was saying is we'll burn this, then we'll wait until we're on this side where these two orbits are matched up very close. And then we can fix this side of the orbit once we're over here. So I, th this may actually give us the contract, which would be nice to have. And I think we'll actually just go ahead and leave this satellite in orbit right here. So that is done. Still not quite there, but that's okay. We can come over here, add a maneuver, and we will retrograde this one. Oops, a little too far. Right there. That'll be a 0.8 meter per second burn. So we are that close. And that looks pretty lined up everywhere else. 
yeah, the ascending node is zero degrees. It's perfect. Go ahead and quick save one more time. Execute this node. And we'll let it fast forward and do the correction burn. So lots of little tiny burns and little different areas. Probably could have done it in less burns, but this is definitely the easier way to do it. Just fine tune your orbit in different spots. Still a connection. That's what I like to see. We're not going to be missing any burns. Yeah, we'll go ahead and wait for that. And we are in the correct orbit and we completed the contract. So perfect. We have this guy in its weird little orbit. We'll keep that there. Um, why don't we go ahead and take a look. Is there any experiments we can do here? I th think we've been to Minmus. I think we did a Minmus flyby. Uh, we're not going to be able to do seismic data, log temperature. We've done that. Yeah, we can't do that there. That's fine. Probably didn't need to put that on at all, but we do have it just for fun. I guess it'd be good if we ever crash it into a planet or a moon. Uh, so let's go ahead and head back to the Space Center. We will take a look at, well first we'll clear this, contract complete, 145,000 Spaceos, 11 science and 13, I guess, reputation. Yeah, there's no mouse over, but this stuff. Um, tracking station here, and we'll take a look at all the connections. So Minmus is way out here. You are connected directly to Kerbin. So let's, just for fun, we'll speed this up until Kerbin is no longer in connection directly with Minmus. Because I want to see how well, there we go. So you are connected to the moon also. Yeah, these are super strong antennas. You should have a 100% connection. Uh, relay sat. Let's actually rename this. This will be the Minmus relay sat. And yeah, you have 100% with the KSC through the other relay sat. Um, let's go ahead and right click there. Rename vessel. You will be relay set. Uh, we'll just do relay. Minmus. Is that even spelt right? Where is. Well, let's just run one of these. Somewhere it'll tell us. Uh, log temperature, timber scan will high over Minmus. Yes, that is correct. So that guy is good. We'll go back to the Space Center, rename our moon relay antenna satellite. And just make sure we don't get confused in the future. Um, relay Minmus, relay. You are Kerbin relay. Actually, we don't have a moon relay antenna. We have, at least not this powerful. Um, so this guy will be relay Kerbin. And you are good. We'll head back to the Space Center. And we might as well just take a look at whatever is around the moon. Because I'm curious to see what we put in orbit over here. Untitled Spacecraft Relay. Definitely going to change that name. Is there anything else around here? No. So we'll fly you. You will be... Whoops. Sorry if that was loud. Bumped my microphone. Yeah, you are going to be an older relay. But we'll go ahead and name you anyways because I don't like the name you had. Uh, where is rename? There we go. Same spot as the other ones. Relay. Old. 
moon. That way we know we have an older guy. Um, yeah, it's nice to know that he's an old one. Maybe we'll replace him eventually. But yeah, you are good. I don't know. If, do you have fuel? You do have a little bit of fuel, so we can make you a little bit more circular. But yeah, we won't worry about that. We'll probably just in the future put a better one into a higher orbit. But I think that's going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already to the channel and don't want to miss any future episodes, be sure to do that. And if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments or you can join my Discord. Uh, you can find the Discord information in the description below or on my website, jomica.co. So thank you for joining me. I will see you guys next time.